In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the one and only true God. Most Holy La Lady, Ever-Virgin Mary and Theotokos, Mother of the Incarnate Son of God, Honorable Prophet John the Baptist and Forerunner of our Savior, Holy Apostles, Holy Prophets, Holy Fathers and Ecumenical Teachers, Holy Martyrs, Holy Fathers and Mothers of our Holy Orthodox Church, intercede for us sinners and unworthy servants of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that we may find mercy and inherit the heavenly kingdom of God. I thank our true Yonine God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for this opportunity to communicate with you all through this visual DVD. <clears throat> the subject which uh, you will hear and see deals with the serious problem of the worldly organization which is called Freemasonry. This uh, speech uh, is accompanied with photos, symbols, and images so that no one can accuse us that we are talking without any proof. The photos aim to assure everything that you will he be hearing and to prove that Freemasonry is in reality a religious organization alien to the Orthodox Christian teachings and traditions. <coughs> The purpose of this speech uh, and our arguments is not to insult any of our fellow men, but to show that for a faithful Orthodox Christian, it is not necessary to join this secret organization, which is called Freemasonry, for the sake and the excuse of doing good deeds or of becoming a better man. Because the purpose of an Orthodox Christian is not to become just a better man in life. For in all religions and nations, one may find good men. But an Orthodox Christian struggles of becoming a holy man in Jesus Christ, imitating his Savior, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This one achieves only when he remains united with the canonical and mystical body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the incarnated Word and Son of God, which is the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church, which is known today as the Orthodox Eastern Church. Outside of this divine instituted body, no one can be saved or even more can be sanctified. Also, with uh, the many and various photographs, we want to present to the faithful who will see this DVD that Freemasonry is a man-made religion and that, that its God, the great creator of the universe, or Bathomet, as they call him, is not the one and only true God, uh, uh, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but it is a man-made construction, a new idol, a false god. The great creator of the universe, or Bathomet, is in fact an, an indefinite aorist power of nature. In opposition to this new man-made idol, the one and only true God, the Holy Trinity, is a personal God who is the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Christian God was not invaded by human logic, but revealed himself to mankind through his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The most serious reason for this speech is to prove with much paternal love that outside the Orthodox Church no one can achieve neither sanctification nor their salvation. For our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ instituted one and only Church as the new ark 
in which every man who will enter it can be saved through holy baptism. Christ did not institute unions, organizations, societies, political systems as, for example, Freemasonry, the Lions, or the Rotaries, nor the monastic religions as is Islam, Judaism, or some of the Eastern monotheistic religions or philosophical systems. Let no one be deceived. God is one. One is the Messiah. One is our Savior. One is the mediator between man and God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All others who like to be called as gods are the creation of man's intellectual and philosophical thoughts, and thus they are false gods. King and prophet David proclaims, saying in the book of Psalms, The idols of the nations are demons. Consequently, I would like to ask all those who are watching this DVD, clergymen and laymen, men and women, to give their attention and to be aware. If any out, anyone out of ignorance or for some materialistic reasons and benefits or riches or for rising in any political or military or ecclesiastical authority became a member of Freemasonry, I urge them with paternal love to resign with nobleness immediately in writing. For no one can serve two masters. I humbly pray that the grace of the one and only true God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, will enlighten all of us to do the right thing, so that God, through our pure Orthodox Christian faith and way of life, will be glorified now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.